Today we're going to talk about how to open up a PDF document from your iPad into Notability. And then once we're in Notability, we're going to talk about how to use several of the features to complete an activity. So, so first of all, you'll go into your iTunes U course and tap on the document that you'd like to open. So in this case, I'm choosing Notability Practice. It will pop up on your screen and notice in the upper right hand corner there is a little arrow up here, and I call it the little happy share arrow. It lets you open up documents in all kinds of apps that support that file. So when I tap that, it's going to pull up all the different apps where I could possibly open this document. So we're going to go for Notability. Now once Notability opens, it's going to ask a couple questions, like would I like to create this as a new note, or would I like to add it to another note I already have? So for this example, we're going to create a new note, and it will pull open that document here for me in Notability. Now notice across the top, you have got some tools. These are the tools we're going to focus on today while we're working on this document. The first tool, this T, is a text tool, and this will allow you to type text on your document. So by selecting that, I can tap on the document and start typing. Now, once you type, that text stays right there. So a better way to put text on a document is to actually do a little tap and a tap and hold, and that's where you get this little plus text box. If you do a text box and you type in here, then you can drag the text around on your screen and put that text anywhere you like. If you grab one of the blue dots, you can stretch and size the box. So my favorite way to use text is again by doing a little tap and a tap and hold so that you get the text box feature. And then once your text is in a text box, you can move that text wherever you like. The other thing is as you notice, as it pops up the keyboard, it also pops up above this this little area right here where we can work with selecting a different font, size, bold italics, underline, we can use those features that are located right here as well. So you can work with those on your document. Now the second tool we're going to look at today is right across here. This is your pencil tool. And if you tap on that, you'll be able to just free write on a document. Now if you do a tap, again, you can choose a different pen uh, tip or a different color. So, you know, perhaps you have choose one color to work in and then perhaps another color if you'd like to correct your work. So you just go ahead and choose that color and then you can just free write on your document. So I'll just kind of grab my pen and just start writing. Now notice my handwriting is huge and it's kind of sloppy. If you take a look here down at the bottom of the screen, there's this little magnifying tool and that is a fabulous way to be able to really write within a small area on your document. So I'm going to go ahead and tap that and it's going to pop up this little pane. So if you notice I can drag this little box around and it correlates to this bottom box down here. So let's take a look. I'm going to grab that with my finger and just kind of drag it over to this blank where the state bird is. And now I can start to write in the answer and notice as I write down here below it starts to put it up inside that little box. So it's really nice because it allows you to have a little bit more dexterity in your writing and then it does fit exactly into the space that you'd like to write. So you just can drag that smaller and bigger. Once you put your information in you just tap and it'll give you a new box to drag around and you can just move through a worksheet by tapping and dragging. That's actually probably my favorite way to fill in a worksheet is to be able to do the free write with the magnifying. It's very easy. And then if you wanted to go back in later and let's say correct your work, you can go up here and tap and grab a different pen color and then come in and say, you know, that wasn't maybe right. I want to cross out something. So you can move that back up here and you can cross that out and then you can write something else in here. So just like that, you can start writing and working. So that is that feature. 
Now across the top again, we also have a highlighter. And this highlight tool, if you tap on it again, you can choose different colors again. And this is very handy because perhaps you want to highlight perhaps a part of speech, like vivid verbs in a purple color. Maybe you want to highlight nouns in blue. Perhaps you want to do direct objects in green, whatever you'd like to do. Or you could work with stoplight paragraphs and again highlight different sentences and you can do the um, green, yellow, red with that. So it's very easy. You just tap on the color that you'd like and then you can just move to your document and you can um, highlight. I'm going to turn off my magnifier. Um, just highlight that area. So it makes it really easy if you'd like to use that as a tool as you're working in a document. Also works great if you're working on a rubric. You can easily highlight what items have been accomplished or not in that document. The next button over here is the eraser. So you can use that just as an eraser and erase something that maybe was on that screen that you would like to get rid of. So I'm just quickly erasing just by dragging across that. The last tool that we're going to look at over here is this little recording and that allows you to put a recording on the top of a document. So I'm going to use two fingers to push and scroll up. You have to use two fingers here, Notability. And down here I have some exciting facts about the state of Nebraska. And you can just go ahead and read those by using this little microphone that's built in. So just a simple tap on that pops this up and now it's actually recording right now as I'm talking. So if I want to read those state facts, I can say the origin of the name of Nebraska. The name Nebraska is from the Oto Indian word which means flat water. And that actually is referring to the Platte River which also means flat river in French. The nickname of our state is the Cornhusker State, etc. So when I'm finished, all you do is again tap on that microphone and that stops the recording. And then just one button to push the play button, and that will play that recording that I just made. And now if I push pause, it's paused. Notice now there's a few other tools that popped up here when we're playing the recording. And this first icon, if you just tap on that, it will show you all the recordings that are associated with this document. And then if you tap on the edit, you can delete those if you need to, so that perhaps you have Maybe you read something three times and choose the one that you like the best. So you have that best um, selection there. And the last thing that we're going to take a look at today is now that perhaps we're all done with this document, now what if I want to share that out? So to share out a document up here in this corner, on the upper left, there's that little happy share arrow. And if we tap up here in that little happy share arrow, then you can go down and these are all the different ways that you can share out your Notability file. So a great workflow for this is to use your Google Drive and just tap on Google Drive and save out that document in Google Drive. But you can also go ahead and email that out. And that's another great thing to do is just tap on email and that will just email the file. So if we wanted to email it, we just tap email and then it says what format would you like to send? As a PDF or as a recording? So PDF with the recordings turned on. Um, if you do Notability, um, then it's saved in the Notability format and then you can open it up again in Notability. So PDF lets you view it everywhere but you will not hear your recordings. If you save it as a Notability and open it on an iPad in Notability, then you can hear the recordings. So um, for this one, I could just turn the recordings off because if I send it as a PDF, I won't hear them anyway. And then just tap Email Notes and away it goes. That's the same workflow too as if you saved it in Google Drive. It's going to choose a destination folder in your Google Drive. So if you're not si signed in, you'll need to sign in. And then you can choose what specific folder in your Google Drive to send it to. And then again, if you'd like to save that as a PDF and if you'd like to turn those recordings on or off. So it just depends on that format that you'd like to choose. So if I choose Notability format as a note, um, then those recordings will be saved right with it. So that's just another feature. Depends on what you're doing with your file. So that is a little bit about Notability Basics today. Thank you for watching TT4T.